From huge tusks to small sculptures, thousands across Thailand registered their ivory. The weight, size and shape all documented 150 tons of it. It was part of a month-long amnesty program earlier in the year, under the country's new Ivory Act that started in January. African ivory is illegal in Thailand, so if people registered their goods, they would not be charged. Thai people see elephants as sacred. This makes them believe that any ivory products are sacred also. That's why we couldn't go to the extreme now of curbing the legal ivory trade, but we started with registration. Trade of Asian ivory is legal, but it takes an expert with scientific equipment to determine the difference between Asian and African ivory. Elephants and their ivory are not only sacred to Thais, they play a large role in regional culture. Only Asian male elephants grow tusks. African elephants' tusks are much larger and both sexes grow them. That's why African ivory makes its way here. The demand is much larger than the supply. This team here? Freeland is a nonprofit organization that works to expose and combat illegal wildlife trafficking. They feel there should be a total ban on ivory trading in Thailand because it's so difficult to tell the difference. And it's a trade that's booming. We're seeing this kind of growing demand in uh, luxury items uh, that are often wildlife products and often products uh, from endangered species because, um, they, because they're endangered, they're harder to get, and so therefore they, have, they hold a higher status. Some buyers feel the registration will help reduce the slaughter of elephants, but sidestep blame. We don't know the story behind the ivory we buy. Someone wants to sell it, we just buy it. We don't know if elephants were killed for their tusks. You can't blame the buyers. Thailand is also used as a pass-through country for regional trade. In the last three months, seven tons of African ivory was seized. Activists feel that this is a step down the path to curb supply. But some feel if the desire for ivory is not reduced through awareness, the supply will continue to find its way to those who believe prestige can be purchased. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.